ัวถูกอยู่นะสี่หมื่นนะไม่แพงนะมึงกลับมามึงใส่เดโว่15 minutes yeah. to jump in. Yeah. Jump in rice. Okay. You're turning up over there. Should I put one to see our four minutes? Right. So it's four yeah. minutes to yeah. the sea down there. So perhaps it's going to look something like this when it's finished. So like a house with a pool, maybe. So Tay got this a couple of months ago, I think. It's a 200 wah. It's just like a minute or so off the main road up there. But you can see the sign in the distance for the road, and the sea is like four minutes that way. So it's it's an okay location. And in the last month or so, they've been bringing all the soil in and building it up. And it's had like the steamroller going across it, like flattening it all out and patting it down. And then we've got to wait for it to settle for a while, I suppose, before starting to build anything. And the plans, like rough plans are like with the architect, but it's not finalized yet. So what it's actually going to look like, we don't know. So yeah, I just wanted to come and have a look. Everyone else is like standing in the bus, so I don't blame them, it's so hot. So it's only me really having a look, but um, yeah, it's quite interesting. I, w I wanted to see the location, like see what, see what the neighbors were like and whatever. There's nothing here at the moment, so I suppose something could come there in the future. Uh, overlooked a little bit by that building there, I suppose but I guess they'll take that into account when they're designing it for the privacy. Overall, it feels pretty quiet actually. So maybe not too bad. This bit of land was 5.4 million for the 200 wa that it is. And I'll put on the screen like what the price is per ride. Tay looked at a few pieces of land around here before deciding on this one. It was like a double plot or something. It is about the going rate. There was like, you know, not far away with a nicer road, like Tarmac Road was like double the price. So, so at the moment the road's not great, but I guess we can improve it if we need to. Anyway, I better get back in the uh, the bus because it's, it's really hot. That's why everyone else has stayed in. So, yeah, it was good to see that back there in real life. Like, obviously I've seen the pictures and the videos, but when you go there, you can see what's actually like and see the location so I think it's pretty good like first impression I'm having is like it's like quiet there but like you know just here it's like the busy area so just a couple of minutes away from like all the busy part of John here right so that's the seat just here that's very close indeed actually ที่เขาชอบมาพักกันอ่ะเขาอันอันมันตาไงอันมันอันมันตาอันมันอันตาอันมันอันตาซอมเทียนบีชเนี่ยเนี่ยนี่ไงต้องนี้นะทุกคน
crabs, fish. So I guess it's like a pick and mix of sorts. I don't even need to say where we are, do I? I can just say, guess where we are. Guess what we're gonna eat, because it's always the same thing. So this is like on the ocean front, or the, do you call it an ocean or the Gulf, Gulf of Thailand? Oh, let's go have a quick look. So it's all wet here, so the tide must have been here recently. Look, I mean, the, the, the water's up to there. That's where it's dry. So it must have like receded very quickly. I think they have places like this, don't they? Where the, the tide comes in and out and then there's certain types of seafood that you can harvest in these type of areas. Yeah, I wonder what all them sort of stones are. Have you got yours that's like fish cakes. Are those oh, ones in? Yeah. Right, so those are glass noodles. Mussels. Wow. Prawns. Dip it in the. Oh, yeah. Mussels, prawns. What do you think of the food? The best one so far. It's amazing. Yeah, best Thai food I've ever had easily, Lord. Best Thai food you've ever had easily, hands down. Yeah. <laughs> like nothing, no comparison, no context. How do we eat this? I think you have to suck out the legs. Do we have to bite this or suck it or what? Oh no, there's monkeys. Maybe you're not having one, so stop it. Oh, it's like a sort of popular spot. Lots of people like taking pictures and stuff. Same as me. I think the monkeys live up there on Monkey Rock. It's quite a nice area. Well, like nice, like cliff front. Getting a bit sort of sweaty, but luckily I'm in the front seat of the car, which has got the the cooled seat, which is really good. Like you get in and you're kind of sweaty, but it cools your butt and like de sweats your butt, which is really really a good thing. I think we need a we need a car with the cooled seats. I think for time we need it. We need a new car. I think we'll look at the prices at least. What are you shaking your head for? How much is one rye up here then? Are you going to get one? Maybe. Why do we want to live here and not in Surat Thani? It's nicer. When did you start talking about this? Thing? Oh, well, well, two minutes ago. They're saying maybe we should not live in Surat Thani and we should live in Bang, Bang Sen instead now. The plan seems to change like every two weeks. There's like a new... But that's what I've been saying the whole time. I was saying why, if we, I was saying, right, why get land in... Pattaya, when we're down near Phuket, why don't we get land in Phuket? Right. 
But that's what I said as well. I said, okay, fine. If we're going to get land up in Pattaya, mm. then why are we living in Suratani? Let's sell down there and buy up here. So I'll talk more later about what we were just talking about in there as regards to this area and that land in Pattaya, what's going on with all that. So it's quarter past three, the train leaves at about half five, so we're going to go back to Bangkok now, back to the train station. Let's get that aircon on, cold seat on full. Right, we made it onto the train, we're like 10, 15 minutes to spare, we were like sweating a bit in the traffic, as we were coming into Bangkok, it was like coming in to like be the rush hour, so I was a bit worried we might miss it. <laughs> we booked like just yesterday. So we couldn't get all together. We've got like two up the top here and two up the top over there. Yeah, right on 5.30, we're pulling away now. So for now, like we're all like sitting in here, but I think in a little while they'll get all the bed stuff down and like make the beds and then stick everyone to sleep. Like they're gonna tuck us in, yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's Bung Bung and Gorgi. Yeah, so Look at Gorgi. Yeah. More than six dogs. If I get out, they get attacked. Right, all the dogs, everyone out the way, naughty dogs. Come on then. Go, go, go. Quick, 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 quick. Bung Bung, Gorgi. Ah, 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 ah. Come on then, go, go, go! <laughs> Been gone for three days. Bung bung. I've never been surrounded by so many dogs. Happy dogs. Here he comes. Bung bung! Look, he's really running fast. Come on! Quick, 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 quick! The train was alright. Like, I didn't sleep. I had like an hour. Bung bung! He's chasing all the cats. Bung bung! Up that. Naughty dog, naughty dog, naughty dog. I had like an hour's sleep, so I guess I'm going to try and get some sleep now. Feels good to be back though. You know? Yes. What are we looking at? The cat. I saw it. I saw it a minute ago. White cat. Yeah, I see. 